it before. I understand how this is going to work out, but what, what are we thinking here? Enough damage to, to kill off a Mars. And that's always, the, that's always a worry. When you try and go in on this Mars, he's able to turn and take you out. Mid lane, Iceberg. The one on Timber. B2's off to a great time. And I don't see it getting any harder anytime soon because Windstrike, they have gone for that bit of a greed. Obviously running the Enigma he's not around all the time to help out. Enchantress, gonna be a kill. See, I think you always want to fly in return. Aggressive Charles chasing. He's got the movement speed. We've got 305 against the 280. He does actually have the, the movement advantage, uh, but doesn't want to waste any more time away from the creep wave. Problem is, but a big kill there. Getting that solo kill on the drought, that's going to give this timber a big boost. And I think that's the exact kind of play that they need to be making on Windstrike, right? You've got a timber saw. You know you get strong in around this level 5 or so mark. And when you've got an enigma, you can't just be sitting back passive constantly because you're going to get punished, as they have been so far. Topside, though, there's still a little bit of aggression happening here, and I'm sure that Windstrike would be happy to take that kind of trade, although still not reaching level 6, so he might be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, Beechin, he's made the move over here, as he's able to offer that extra bit of damage to take down Aggressive Child. The Micro is tempted by the dead Enchantress, but couldn't quite get the stomp on Beechin in time. He's level 6, of course, ready to drop the arena. Here come the ultis, though. Try and go in upon him. Do you think again with the wrap round? General lays down the arena. The Doom's already down, and with the Blade Fury, is it enough to get General time for? With the Turbo coming in with the Black Hawk there. Yannage with the setup. They roll straight into their Doom. Win the strike. Big moves to be made and moves that were, were very much necessary. Each down this mid tier one tower as well. Such a val valuable tower in the game. And only 12 minutes in, they've already lost two. Arena down, the general off the mark with a spin hit. That matter though, Dakala still very squishy. For this high amount of damage that the Drow could kick out each you. Down bottom. His eyes on general, they're bringing Dakala over as well. If you can get in for a Doom, be able to do this between the two of them. They're going to drop it. Trees trying his best to juke this out, but still, Rebels ever close to get on the Infernal Blade. That is the damage coming out with the impetus. Will secure them the kill. Make the move on General. Now the rest of Na'Vi swinging over. Aggressive Child also around for Windstrike. Uh, can he find the setup? He's invis. Might be able to get a good stun from the invis. See if he can find it. Oh, off the mark. Tries to predict the movement, but he's whipped it. Now I suppose has got to run. They're chasing him down. The slow is there. Beachu trying to push them back. They'll use the supernova to stop Windstrike from diving in any further. Iceberg safe, and it worked for now. Now with the supernova ending, okay, he's ready to go straight back in. Time the stun from Iceberg does connect the turn. Oh, and he's in. He's able to get the black hole on the three of them with the Omni slash damage. Oh, he's beautiful. Yamage just slams him down, walks in and catches the three, ends up in the four of them dying. Do need to wait at least until they're in a, a bit more of an inescapable position, like the tier two tower, for example, if they look to push into that. But, well, he might be overstaying his welcome a little bit here with Rabel. He's getting caught out, pops the BKB, but he's not going to be able to get out. Well, tower there, now that Timber's on the front, there's a lot of damage coming in. DK. Jump off with the Timber Chain, trying to turn to get the Shackle Mod Boys want to play, but it's going to be off the mark. The Phoenix will be saved. Scar, meanwhile, able to burst down the Lena, and they they can't kill the Timber. I still watch out about just straight physical damage right now, I think, or just the burst from the Lena. That Aghanim is finished up. Oh, and yep. again, though! He's it again. Every single time they're finding damage. It's making it very hard for Windstrike to try and force the fight. Windstrike might still try and do something here, though. They're looking towards the Phoenix. Always want to fly off to the side. He will still look at the Supernova. Oftentimes, just before Rebel is able to come in and Rebel won't get caught for the shards. Two speedies are stepped out before Roger's able to get a grab on it. To the side, close. though. Timber. Focusing him down, you're set up there. They're looking for the angle. Light strike and the burst. That'll do it again. Navi. I mean, left wind strike has the tree coverage and the high ground a little bit on the right side. And they know they're squ they're squishy. That's the thing too. It's like even DK focus. If he steps up a little too far, oh. he gets speared in and can just die. The spear connection to the tower, but two have mules into the stun. Have a look at the burst. The Kongo Laguna Molly shows out. He's able to save himself some time with the self kills. He's trapped in the arena though, and they've got the damage to take him onto the side. Rebel, the damage to this drow is so much. Rebel's cut a rubber. Look at these hits from Pichu. It takes him out. The supernova's there. The life strikes out onto aggressive charge. Oh He's my god. Narvi making quick moves as Windstrike just hanging around, I guess just a, a little too long. They just found Dakalis. The light strikes out, they'll burst down another, they'll get four kills, Narvi. We'll have to step away from it. They don't have the music to pick it up. Hey! There's double Laguna from Iceberg. A couple of those. The judge says bye bye. 
He goes down. She's on Gerald, keeping him alive. Beach, you trying to cover him up. Gerald's able to step away. Pods the BKB at the fire fire, and he's fine. The doom is out. Was, was not the cheese. It was a bit of a bit of the old green stuff. The fire fire keeps him alive. Now, on to aggressive child, Roger. Snowball heading over. General able to jump in onto the car. Important the enchantress. Omni Sash is coming out. But we always want to find Beecher, but the damage is incredibly underwhelming. Jug not able to finish him off. As that is a dead jug for 110 seconds. Aggressive card is out. General trapping him Rebel inside the arena. B June is just cleaning it up with his CG is called Navi. Will take this game one win strike and then that's all the mid game it starts to seem like they were able to swing this. this is enough. You just lose the game eventually. You have the monkey king queen pain. It has to work. It has to work well. If you miss rotations, your game is just you just end your own game. I don't feel like this this doesn't feel good to be rebel at all. He's got no no regen. He's got a salve coming out of the courier, but Iceberg is destroying this matchup. And top, and top, top lane. Now he tried to chase him for Roger, but Roger was able to live with the fairy fire. Now General, the Firefly and the Napalm stacks building up. Aggressive charge in a whole lot of trouble. He popped the stick charges, but it's too many stacks of Napalm. They get the kill. First blood onto Aggressive Child. Navi find it just before Windstrike themselves get the kill down bottom. Windstrike might get the two of those, V2. I mean, seven minutes and 26 <laughs> denies, it just continues. Top lane, Roger will be able to get in and snipe the courier of Aggressive Child. Aggressive Child's gonna look to try and chase the Primal Spring. He's on top of Roger. Let's get hit by the roof. We're still able to lay down the bound the strike, find the kill. General, chase Aggressive Child. Why not the stacks to pressure the monkey king? I will say, because there's a lot of players that all play it, peak, uh, play it differently. I know there was a phase where OG was picking and everyone was rocking tags first. Oh! Now, big moves. Everything blown onto Iceberg there was necessary. Roger, for the turn up top. Dakarlis is chasing him down. Root holds on to DK. Because they come up with the horn. Beaching. Daggers out. Takes down one. The fear. Big fear. Back. And it's going to hold them close to the rest of Na'Vi. And they got the damage. That's so down. On to Rebel. He'll fall as Na'Vi clean up. The game of hunts for Navi, where they're just constantly looking for kills for Windstrike, and I don't know when Windstrike can really just capitalize. I feel like they just have to counter gank and try to predict the move from Navi. And they might be able to here in this area. They can find Horn's gonna come out. Uh, they're gonna be able to take down Yamik. The iceberg. Put the control onto Aggressive Child. The Yule setup's in play. Aggressive Child gets first down. DK Fogas trying to run, pushes the map. The Gold Tribute, but he's being burnt. To Beast by the Sunray and the Light Strike. This game really to, to have yeah. some sort of save early on. Oh, it's hard for the fight. General will walk up they set the trap. Back down. Fear from Roger can come into play around the pit. Yeah, they're just gonna get the vision here with the dagger. Lena has BKB finished as well. She's running over. They might have to try to force it if they don't want to give it up here. This is risky. I don't, I don't know if they can stick around for this one. Oh, the bash. The bash. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage. So they get the ult out. They the dive in the cube. They're the They all burn down the Phoenix. The Roche goes down. The Phoenix in play. But it doesn't matter. Aggressive Child was able to get the kill and pick up the Aegis. And still, Na'Vi are cleaning up despite that Aegis pick up from Windstrike. It doesn't matter. They take it out of the hands of the Monkey King straight away. Kill him off a second time. You get Fogas turns, pushes back Iceberg with the Spear. But the Flame Rope in general knocks it. Back, the Mars will fall. Triple kill for Iceberg. <laughs> Mid. Ready, always want to fly. Diving in for the side. He's going to drop down and switch it over. BKB popped the rebel. He tried to take down the egg, but the lasso is there. He's lost that rebel through the BKB. The Rubik's been taken out on the back of it all as V-Tune has managed to find him. Chasing on over towards DK Fogas 2 as it's two head on wind strike over the river. They burst down Rebel. They just cannot win these fights at all. Wind strike. V Tune just taking over. And this game, it just it it does not look good. Here, wind strike they're gonna have to really pray. What? For the mistakes. Do you imagine the sun always wanna fly up he dove, but now our aggressive Charlie's gonna put the ult there and then on top of the arena is down. Have got respect to V Tune. 
they got the damage to take him out. He's able to put the man to step aside. He's still alive. Iceberg steps over. Link up and Rebel. The horse there is he's able to jump out and away. Laguna comes down to Rebel. Beachy will live. They do lose the bat for the root. And the stun is holding them all in position. The life track away from the iceberg follows up. Triple kill for him. Only Dakalis, an aggressive child left alive. An aggressive child will make it away. Dakalis will not. This is an ultra kill for Iceberg. You should jump go him. for him. If you can, that, that's probably the dream now. You have to jump him. You have to. You can't jump anyone else. Can they? Can they cheat? Can they cheat on him? I don't think so. Let's see. Going to be out of spirit. The arena. Getting low. Found this out. It's from the Sonic Wave. Do it. Got him. They do it. They take him. V2. Now can they get out without or dying? That's the question. Three dead, four dead. Down. Make that five. Nope. They're all dead. And there we have it. GG is cool. I mean, this they they did make this one look pretty simple and easy here. As uh, just just from the mid lane onwards, Iceberg destroying Rebel, and uh, it was a spectre game. He was ahead all the time.